there's a new giant in our green energy revolution floating in the waters off Orkney. At 74 metres long, the O2 is the world's most powerful tidal turbine. It has the ability to supply enough electricity for around 2,000 homes. A huge milestone for us, it's been a long journey. You know, it wasn't made any easier by a pandemic, but uh, so to get it in the water and up here, connected and generating clean power onto the ordinary grid is a fantastic achievement for us. So hopefully in the weeks ahead, we'll be hitting full power uh, and it will be, uh, you know, again, it will be just a growing success. The turbine is undergoing testing at the European Marine Energy Centre. Electricity is transferred by a cable along the seabed to the onshore electricity network in Orkney. Its 10 metre rotors under the main body capture the energy from the powerful tidal stream, with anchors mooring the platform in place. Orkney's very lucky that we've got really strong tides here, and so harvesting the energy that's here off our shores is really important. We believe there's thousands of megawatts of energy there in the tides in a community that uses tens of megawatts. So this is potentially a huge industry for these islands. But it's bigger than that because this industry will then be exported around the world to other places. The installation of this technology comes just a few months ahead of the UN's climate conference in Glasgow. And if replicated, it'd be a real chance to drive down our emissions and reach our target of net zero. But it can also bring real economic benefits to the country too. The turbine was built in Dundee 80% of the material came from the UK and supported around 80 jobs. That's a model that many, including unions, believe we need. Sustainable jobs on the back of green technology and skills, made here, exported around the world. Orkney already generates all of its electricity from renewables. This new venture is seen as another boost to the local economy. But despite all of Orkney's advances in clean energy, around 60% of households here still live in fuel poverty, one of the highest in the country. We had one case where a woman had looked at how much she had left on her prepayment meter, um, and uh, you know it was enough to either cook a hot meal or have a bath, you know, and uh, for folk to be having to make choices like that in this day and age is uh, atrocious, I would say. While WAVE has had a choppy past with the collapse of Palamis and Aquamarine over funding issues and big losses, Tidal is keen to be key in the mix to getting our emissions down. This new giant of the deep, our latest hope in helping reach net zero.